What's up, people? It's time for another rant. Today, since no one gave me anything to really go off of, I will be re reciting some of my old stories from Goodwill, along with some other things that a couple co-workers have told me before. Number one on today's list. Don't you hate it when people in the store, it's closing time, you gave them like half an hour warning, and all of a sudden, by the time it's 9 o'clock, it's close time, they're still in the store, and they're still shopping, and you have to announce it like 30 million times again, and say, hey, the registers are shutting down. I had a lady once that wouldn't leave until, let's say, half an hour later, and we still had to close around her, even though we were trying to, you know, put things back, she would take it off the shelf and mess up the shelf again, and would not leave till almost the latest was like 45 minutes later after the store was closed. To me, that is one of the most ignorant things you can do. First of all, people want to go home. They don't want to stay around slaving to you, you know, while you're shopping still at like 9.30 at night, which, you know, most things close by 9 o'clock. Second of all, don't you want to go home? It's like 9.30 at night and, you know, don't you got, like, better things to do, like put your kids to sleep or, you know, watch Wheel of Fortune or something? Number two on the list. This is one of my personal favorite stories of all time. It was a typical day at Goodwill and then all of a sudden this old guy rolls up with this thing that I cannot accept, you know, and I'm like, sir, I cannot accept it. And he's like, what the fuck not? And like, I'm like, okay, sir, I can't accept it because, you know, it's a danger to babies and we're not allowed to take things that whole baby. And this guy straight up picks it up, throws it at me, like almost hitting me, like that close to my leg. And all of a sudden his wife gets out and starts yelling at him, bitching him out, which I thought was hilarious. And so he got the thing and went back in his truck, which was pretty epic. It is now time for the epic stupid file. This lady falls under one of the dumbest people I can think of. So she was trying to donate a changing table, and as you heard from the video before, I'm not allowed to think, take things that hold babies. Now, I told the lady exactly that. I'm not allowed to take it because it holds a baby. It doesn't hold a baby, she tells me. And I'm like, what? She literally tried arguing with me that it doesn't hold a baby. So, like, what? The baby just, like, levitates while you change its diaper? I mean, I understand the things are underneath and whatever, and it, you can catch the baby if the thing suddenly breaks, but the, it holds a baby. <laughs> I cannot make that any clear. It Put the baby on the thing. Here's a little something that came from a previous employee that I worked with. It was a very, very, very busy day. The line was just lined up all the way to the parking line. There was nothing anyone could do about it. So this person, all the way from the back, brings this whole box of glass. And I'm talking like vases, cups, you name it, glass. It, I think it was a bag, actually, because I've seen the lady just like straight up throw it at this guy. He, he like, and like breaks on him. And... She's like, you guys are a bunch of lazy asses and whatever, and storms off, and it's like, what can we do to make the line shorter? I mean, besides you not getting out of your car and being an ignorant shit. Luckily for the guy, he wasn't hurt, but he was very, very, very pissed off, as you could imagine. I mean, who the hell does that? It's a thing full of glass, and he's str straight up like threw it straight up against the wall, which probably wasn't the greatest idea either. He just threw it into him, and I was on my way, and I was like, holy shit, dude, calm down, man. And, yeah, I mean, customers just piss people off, it seems like. Well, that's all for today's rant. See you later.